Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm going to share with you a project uh, that I have created for ScrapFX and I'm in my little dilutions um, art journal and I'm using some paper artsy paints. So the colours that I'm using are Beach Hut, Turquoise, Tangerine, Bezantine and Bougainvillea I think. I think that's what they are. But I'll pop them down in the description below so you can actually see what, what colours they actually are because I probably got that wrong. Anyway, so what I'm doing here is I'm just finger painting um, the colours onto my page. Just kind of blending the colours in together as I go. So mixing the purple and the um, pink in together so it transitions from one into the other. And you kind of have to go back and go over some of the other colours to get them to blend in together. Um, so it does take a little bit of time to actually do that. So down the bottom there you can see I've mixed the, the pink and the yellow together which has made a bit of an orange. And up the top here where I've got my yellow and purple it's kind of gone a little bit muddy. So yeah you just have to be a little bit careful. Um, but you can go back and fix it and, and put some other colour over the top. The other thing you might need to do is just clean your fingers as you go because what happens is the paint will dry on them and then you'll get these little clumps of paint when you don't want little clumps of paint <laughs> in your work. So yeah, anyway, so I've just about finished here. I'm just adding in some more of the colours where I want it to be a bit brighter. So where the turquoise is, brighting, making that brighter and some with the paler blue as well. So and the pink and the red yeah so that's looking really cool I'm quite happy with that background with how it's all blended nicely together so now that I've got that dry I'm going to do some stenciling now my stencil here is from scrap fx and again the description is down below as to what it's actually called but it's a cool little one and it's got lots of little branches and things in it which I thought was quite appropriate for what I was had in mind um, for my page because I'm going to be using the the Halloween silhouettes so it's like the Halloween keyhole silhouette and the spider web and I just thought that the trees or the pattern in the in the stencil reminded me of um, you know of dead trees flowing around in the wind so that's why I use that so I'm just using the paint that I've already got on my palette to stencil through over the top and as you can see it turns out really cool so pretty happy with that you know I love making my rainbow backgrounds so yeah I'm really happy with how that one turned out so now here I've got some rice paper here from scrap FX and this is one of their newer ones uh, I think it's called urban and I'm just ripping off the top bit to glue that down onto my page there so that'll be kind of hidden a little bit in the background but you will be able to see the the crow so I'm just using some gel medium underneath and on top to glue that down and just drying it off quickly with my with my heat gun there so now what I'm going to do is I've got a stamp fx um, stamp here and I've got some archival ink and I think the color is thistle so I'm just adding in some um, a little bit more interest there into my background just trying to figure out where I'm going to put my keyhole um, I like my spider web up there in the corner so I'm going to put my keyhole on the other page and then just finding a picture from Tim Holtz's Halloween people to put on and I've got some wings there as well which is also one of Tim's you know embellishments so I thought she would look cool with wings behind her behind her back so I'm just gluing down my silhouettes and I'm using some art glitter glue I use that glue because it's actually super clear when it's dry and it doesn't leave bubbles or bulges of glue everywhere so you can't even see you can't even see it so it's it's a really good glue if you haven't got that one you should think about getting it and I've also just mopped off some of the excess with a with a baby wipe because some of the details in the silhouettes are quite fine and detailed um 
yeah, to help eliminate those bulky bits of glue, <laughs> I've just wiped them off. So now what I've got that on there, I'm going to do a little bit of doodling here. This is, um, I guess, inspired by Megan Winsler Quinlan, who does lots of doodling on her pages. And I quite like the look of the, of the black tree leaves um, there in the background. And I'm just colouring those in with a, with a Bosca pen. Very, very simple, very easy. So you see me finishing that bit there off, making sure I've got all the bits coloured in. And then I'm going to grab a Uniball Signo pen in white and I'm going to scribble around the leaves to make them a little bit more interesting. So that's why the camera's paused. Oh no, I was looking for the relic word chip. That's what I was doing. I thought I had some Halloween word chips from Tim, but obviously I didn't, so I just used the relic one. I thought that was that that fitted. So I've just ripped the back off it as well and stuck it on. Um, some of the stamps that I've got there are from Paper Artsy, the Seth Apter ones. Um, I, d I used the white Paper Artsy paint um, on the stamp to, to help bring some whiteness back into the page because black and white helps make the page pop. So with your stamp, you just need to make sure if you're using paint that you clean it off afterwards. And now I'm just doing a little bit of mark making with some more Posca, a bit of fluoro pink because, you know, that's really cool. And now I've got some silver ink. Um, this is a Liquitex acrylic ink, which I love. I love my acrylic inks. They're so much fun. So here's my page. Um, I really hope you enjoyed my video today i hope i have inspired you to break out and do something a little bit different with some halloween um silhouettes or halloween things even though it's not halloween but you know i'm not really in you know, halloween's not um something that we celebrate here in australia but um it's still fun to do so anyway that's my video thank you so much for watching and until next time see you later